Minimal residual disease is really crucial in mantle cell lymphoma and it's probably more accurate to call that mantle cell leukemia because these cells are almost always also in the peripheral blood, at least when you measure them with a very sensitive molecular approaches. Therefore, this is currently our strongest prognostic marker if we want to predict the clinical course of a patient. Now this field is quickly moving and what I foresee in five or ten years that it will be current standard of care that patients will be treated according to their minimal residual disease status. That means if you are able to still detect these single malignant cells in the peripheral blood or not.